Good afternoon and welcome to the very first mini masterclass of 2020 and we're going to be talking specifically about how you can skyrocket your results in the next quarter. Let me just go live on um, Instagram as well. I'm doing that. So here's a top tip if you are going to run something like this and you also use Instagram, you can use your desktop for Facebook and then your phone for Instagram. Might as well double it up, won't we? So welcome everybody on Instagram. I am Rich Smith, your host here and today I'm going to be sharing exactly how you can skyrocket your results in quarter two. So I'm not going to faff about, I am just going to get straight into the content. I also have a question that somebody wants me to respond to. And if you've got any questions, whether you're on Facebook or on Instagram, just pop it in the comments below. And anybody who's watching the replay, do put your questions in as well, because I want you to figure this out. And then I'm going to share two resources at the end of it, one free and one paid. So let's get into today's content. So, believe it or not, you can achieve brilliant results in your business in 12 weeks. So let's take one scenario. Perhaps you have um, been distracted with life, with things, you know, there's a lot going on at the moment in the world. There's no denying that at this moment in time. And maybe you haven't quite achieved the results that you wanted to in quarter one. Perhaps you've been inconsistent with your marketing. What I love about these different quarters is that actually in, in, those, in 12 weeks, you can achieve brilliant results. You can, like if you have done very little marketing to your audience in quarter one, you can change all of that in just 12 weeks. You can start the next quarter, you can start today, you can start tomorrow, but you can start the next quarter with um, a consistent approach to your business that will generate you actual results. And the results that we're talking about here is paying clients because that's what you want. You want to be growing a business, you want to be putting offers out there and you want to be working with your clients so that you can help them um, to transform their life, to achieve the things you provide through your business. So I really want for you to understand that you can achieve so much in 12 weeks. And I don't know about you, but my 12 weeks have gone in a flash in quarter one. And that's okay because I have made a ton of progress and I just feel that I'm on board. And I even had capacity to, to create something that I never even had in my plan. And that's the beauty of a plan is that it does shift and change. But during um, February, I just decided to create a podcast. And this is at a time when I was really, really busy, but I was really, really clear about how that podcast was going to help me to grow my business, increase my reach, and um, just really build a reputation um, outside of all of the other things that I was doing. And so far, it has been a brilliant decision. So there's a couple of things with um, working in a quarter is that it's 90 days. And one of the questions that I had from somebody about how do you achieve brilliant results? How do you achieve those big goals? And when we have those big goals that you perhaps you created in January or at the end of 2021, it can feel really, really overwhelming and a massive challenge. And often what we do because, um, oh, Charlotte, that's amazing. I love that you've listened to the latest episode and you really enjoyed it. Well, this is a follow on from it. So if you've got any questions about the episode or from anything that comes up today, please ask me as well. I want for you, you know, if you're listening to this, I want for you to get as much out of this as possible. 
So the thing that um, Hannah was asking in the question was, you know, how do you achieve those big goals? And often what we say is, by the end of the year, I will have achieved X, Y, and Z, whatever your big goals are. And what happens is that we put them off. Every month, every quarter, we just move those big goals into the next quarter. And that's because it just feels too overwhelming and too complicated and um, you know we're not just running businesses here all of us have like other responsibilities in our lives we've got you know busy lives and like i said at the beginning there is a lot going on in the world which can actually derail us at times as well so my response to that question that hannah posed about how do you do that is that you work in 90 day sprints and I'm using the word sprints not in like a masculine hustling um, kind of approach but kind of in a fun way like you've got 90 days that feels way more manageable than 12 months and in those 90 days as I said right at the beginning of this live even if you have done like very little marketing in quarter one if you were consistent at the beginning of those 90 days, you will be in a position by the end of those 90 days where you will be working with new clients, where you will have generated growth and expansion and money into your business. So in response to Hannah's question, this is exactly how I work. This is exactly how I work with my clients is that we look at what you know we look at that big picture and then we break it down into 90 day um sprints and those sprints are like they're exciting they're um manageable you can see what you're looking to achieve everything feels like po it's possible and you are you're in it you know it's an energetic movement and it's and like i said it's exciting so 90 day sprints are kind of the things that if you haven't worked in that way that's kind of well, I, you know, that's what I encourage you to think about is how you can take, you know, those goals that you've set for yourself, for your business, and distill them down into things that are going to be um, compelling and exciting for you and your business over the next 90 days. And in my previous life, I was a project manager and how we always approach like the projects that we're looking to implement is that we always reverse engineered. So I would say, you know, where do you want you and your business to be by the end of quarter two? Get really clear about that. Get excited about the possibility about that. And then re like re uh, engineer it all the way back. So figure out what are all the steps that you need to take in order to achieve those goals. And by breaking it down, it breaks down the overwhelm, it breaks down um, the feeling that it's too difficult and it starts to make it feel like it is possible. And it gives you clarity as well. So sometimes we, like, I've got to put my hands up and say that this was definitely me, is that I used to, in my early days in business, before I learned this technique, is I used to rock up, I'd be so excited about my business, but really I didn't have a clue what I was doing. And I'd maybe see like one idea, or I'd invest in an idea, and I'd be like off, um, ch kind of chasing that. And then maybe I wouldn't get the results immediately from that. And like, let's face it, we are engineered at the moment for immediate reaction and immediate gratification. So if I didn't get the results, immediately from that and that kind of time scale differed depending on what it was is that i would immediately then flip flop into something else and actually uh, actually do that as uh, again so what i ended up with is like there was no clarity about what I was moving towards there was no real plan about how i was going to achieve it and i just flip flopped about around strategies and ideas and um did it achieve results and, and growth a little bit but not the re real results that I was looking for so 
I would really encourage you to look at 90 day sprints. Start with the end in mind. I'm a coach, I'm always gonna say that. Re-engineer it all the way back. Figure out what are those key elements that you want, that you need to put in place in order to achieve that, that big thing that you're looking to, to have in place, to have accomplished, to have achieved by the end of those 90 days and show up in your business and take incredible action. So let me know if that is resonating with you. Give me some thumbs up. Let me know if that is like, right, okay, that's that's kind of what I want to know. Now, the other thing about goals and, and achieving things that you want to achieve in the sprint is that you really want to be um, kind of energetically connected to the result. It's like, the result needs to mean something to you. It's got to fire you up so that when you come across those challenges, when you come across those um, things that are going to like pull you off track, is that you reconnect with the whole reason why you're here and you find workarounds and you keep frigging going. Also, write your goals down. Now, Mary, one of my lovely clients who has an incredible business, she learned from me to write her goals down. And she said that the, app, the art of writing her goals down, and it's like do it every day, do it every, every week, do it however many times that you want, maybe have them stuck up, is this constant reminder of the reasons why you're showing up the reasons why you are stepping out of your comfort zone, the reasons why you keep going even if it starts to feel challenging. Um, and look after your mindset. That is always going to be a key thing. You know, whenever you are doing a night day sprint, now let's face it, you are looking to achieve something that perhaps you've never ever achieved before. And our mind monkeys, our mindset, is programmed to keep you safe and it's the mind's version of keeping you safe is to keep you exactly where you are so it can often feel like we're in this battle in this struggle but it doesn't need to feel like that if you work on your mindset you will be able to like reassure your unconscious self that the path that you're taking on is exactly the path that you want to go on and it's the right path. So to summarise, 90 day sprints, have like three goals, don't have any more than that, three goals, um, write down your goals, break down your steps and take action every day. What's Charlotte said, this is what I need to journal on more, connecting, yes I'll come back to that Charlotte, I think that's a really really good point. Um, so there is that um, kind of question, isn't it? How do you eat an elephant? So for Hannah, she's thinking about those big girls. How do you actually move yourself and it motivate yourself to achieve in that? Um, you've got to think about that kind of analogy about how do you eat an elephant? Do you eat it all in one big go? Or do you break it down into, I mean, I don't really want to think about eating an elephant, but do you break it down into like small manageable steps? Yes, you do. So think about that and think about how you can break your big girl down into manageable steps. Now let's go back to what Charlotte said. I think that's past now, isn't it? Let's go back to what Charlotte said about the fact that you, you need to do this kind of connection with your why and with your goals. It's absolutely true. It is so, so true. You, like, you can like have all these like lofty aspirations, but if they don't mean anything to you, 
the time when you start to feel challenged, you are going to, you're going to crumble. <laughs> you're going to like fall off the wagon and, you know, you, you'll revert back to old ways because they're the ones that are ingrained within you. But it's about reassuring yourself that it is completely safe for you to have these lofty aspirations and dreams, that it's completely normal for you to be stepping out of your comfort zone and just journal on this, do whatever you need to do to keep moving yourself forward. And I can guarantee you that by the end of June, you will be and your business will be in a completely different place. So I hope that's been helpful. If you've got any questions, pop them underneath and I will respond to them. Two resources. Charlotte's kind of beat me to the first one. Um, in my podcast, and I'll put the links below, is um, in the episode that I recorded for you last week, I recorded uh, and shared my exact strategy for generating consistent months of 5k. So if, if you're like, right, I need to get this clarity and I need to get this motivation, where do I start? This is a really great place to start. Listen to this podcast, it's, it's not very long. Um, but yeah, it, thank you, Shala. I'm glad that's been helpful. But it's not, um, the podcast isn't very complicated either, but I'd say listen to it, get a pen and a piece of paper, listen to the content, figure out how you can bring this into your business, and then you will start to formulate a plan for the next 90 days following the steps that I've shared with you today. The second resource is a paid resource. Now, at this moment in time, I've got a few slots available for you to come and work with me privately for 30 days. Now, you might be thinking, well, I need more support than 30 days. You've just been talking about 90 day sprints. What I want to share with you is that sometimes we don't need to work with somebody, a coach for 90 days or 12 months or five years. Sometimes we do, but in some cases, what your business needs is just that injection of um, clarity, that injection of support and that injection of belief as well. And that is enough to keep you, to get you started and for you to start to move forward. So Monetize Your Business is a 30 day private coaching opportunity for me. Now, I've already decided in my head that this is going to actually turn into a four week program. So in my head, like I haven't got any capacity today to write the sales page, but I know exactly what the sales page is going to look like. So I'm not, I don't think I'm going to make this available again after this launch. So I've got a couple of slots available left for the next 30 days where I will work with you every single day to grow your business. So again, I'll leave the links below. Now, just very, very briefly, I'm not going to go on to this very, for very long, but very briefly, I just wanted to share with you what happened with my client, Leslie, when she worked with me privately for 30 days, is that she had, has an existing business, but one of the areas that she wanted to break into was working with high-end clients. Now, she tried this for a little while and it just hadn't happened. And then in those 30 days, she met her target. She started to work with her high end clients. So she had a target of working with two high end clients in January. And by the end of the 30 days, she'd signed them up and she had started working with them. So if anybody's thinking, well, 30 days isn't long enough, that's fine, I've got other options, but if you know that you just need clarity, you need some coaching and some mindset work, and you need a little bit of a daily kick up the bum so that you start to move yourself forward every single day, that's what I've got available. So I'll leave the links below. If anybody's interested, DM me before I turn this into a group program, which is gonna be amazing as well but um, it is currently available as a private coaching opportunity as well. So any final questions, please let me know. I wanted to make this short and sweet, but um, yeah, I hope I've given, even if you decide not to come and work with me this time, I hope I've given you some clarity about how you can 
um, move your business forward, how you can use these 90 day sprints to really move your business forward because it's it's so, so possible. And I want, you know, maybe for you, Charlotte, one of the things for you to think about is where, like really getting clear about how you want your business to look and feel by the end of June. And that's exciting, isn't it? Because anything and everything is actually possible. So if you haven't got any more questions, I'm going to hop off because I've got a group coaching call coming up and I want to get ready for that. If you've got any questions, um, please either post them below or uh, DM, PM me, whichever platform you're on. And I look forward to um, sharing more content with, like that. And I've got a brilliant podcast coming out this weekend for you. Okay, thank you for being here and I'll see you really soon.